Thanks. Love you all. All right. Everyone good to start? Advantage one is debt, hospital costs are driving, health care spending crisis, a price gouge, the only insurance cost shift to overpay bill, have private insurance void, and 14, one third of what the U.S. spend is by hospitals four times, the OECD average caused by higher prices for services, Medicare and Medicaid have responded by paying hospitals, less of hospitals have responded by raising the prices that they charge to private insurers called cost shifting, hospital consolidation is accelerating, this brings down the entire industry, Roy and 14, consolidation is driving premiums upwards, procedures cost 44% more, in markets above average consolidation, the entire industry flows in the form of profit superior profitability, leads to a vicious cycle whereby weak hospitals closer become vulnerable to acquisition in response to the ECA hospitals have undergone a mere merger and acquisition board. Then half the hospital markets have reached a level of concentration that would provoke an antitrust inquiry and healthcare spending creates an unsustainable fiscal gap. Common law comes to the status quo involves driving off a cliff. The United States policies connected with healthcare and driving the economy to or the country to economic ruins, economic growth and rights stock rights don't preclude economic collapse. And what you see can't kill you, it can't kill you. The programs are free, the, they are paid for with taxes, scaling up the use of spending, dispending relative to the size of the economy by a factor of two means scaling up the tax rates. This means cost corporates are Medicare, Medicaid, Medicare plus Medicaid represents over half. MMS spending by 2035 will reach two thirds of the cost of paying for this exceeds the capacity in, f- in current and future taxpayers to pay, leaving out employer paid benefits. Workers have seen this wages decline over time. At the same time, the elderly enjoy benefit increases. Real hours and wages are 3% lower. MMS benefits are 200% larger. And this results in hyperinflation and total collapse of the U.S. economy. Call up and seven. Let's assume we make no change in the country. It's short 70 trillion. If we don't reform health care, the government will need to make money by printing it. The United States is hardly immune to hyperinflation. The Fed realized markets turn on a dive for it. And domestic investors lose confidence in the dollar. Although the whole thing's out the U.S. security debt would lead to a crash out of the U.S fiscal policy gets out of control, banks lose control and are forced to accommodate inflationary processes, running high inflation would severely damage the economy. The fiscal gap appears overblown. It's not how many were seeing the fiscal crisis before it hit. Not many because of this. The economic collapse were rooted in tremendous fiscal gap. The best indicator of national saving rates to change the difference between investment and national saving is huge. Suppose the Chinese wake up tomorrow and say we're getting worried about the U.S. long-term fiscal position and precipitate a financial crisis of the first order. Japanese and the Koreans hold the bonds as well. This too can sink it. The tire is under less, uh, unless the pressure in healthcare is released. And U.S. economic decline guarantees were opposed in 18 system home to separate economic from military competition. U.S. withdrawal will raise the risk of stumbling into conflict by accident. Minor economic disputes have the potential to set off escalating counterattacks in the north. A separation between economic and military competition breaks down the economic frictions concerns into our right conflict. Trump will blame the economic gadget on the foreign governments, creating a self perpetuating cycle of anger when major companies step out forward to preserve the opening economic order. And Washington may interpret this as an attack on the U.S. privacy. Trump might misinterpret the four borders by China or the EU as a sign of weakness and invitation to escalate confrontations the world in which the United States ceases to lead. This system will be built on nastier and more dangerous for everyone. The plan is solved. The fiscally stabilizes AC exchanges reverses adverse selection and allows innovative private insurance mechanism to ensure universal coverage for cheap ROI in 14 universal exchange plans ensure that every American has insurance protection from cash for financial loss ACA regulation deeply drive of the cost for healthy individual the plan revised community rate includes a transitional premium assistance reduced premium costs by maximizing the flexibility of insurance design essential health benefit regulation be clarified under the plan so that they could not limit the consumer during health plans with high deductible coverage in the HSA's actuary value reforms repeal of ACA tax expand consumer driven health care plans by combining high deductible cash off coverage with HSA's allow individuals to for health expenses counteracting more hazard by rewarding individuals who provide the care to individuals below 250% of the poverty line receive additional HSA subsidies. The plan will revolutionize health care by allowing low-income individuals to substantial health wealth in HSA to convert CSRs into HSA contributions. The ACA mandate may to be two weeks to persuade healthier people to overplay the plan. It less adverse selection than the ACA and Obamacare blocks in hospital consolidation. The plan solves Roy in 13. The hospital care is the biggest driver of rising AC premiums. The main cost is wage stagnation. Those with insurance are paying a hidden tax. The hospitals run to Medicare's price controls by charging astronomical prices to uninsured most consumers receive it through the employers making them less sensitive to price agencies and courts have been passing these on market power to raise prices but by preparing large salaries to, to executive they retain the process and use it for expansion of Obamacare at the lobby's behest to impress the ability to compete with hospitals can do more to place Americans in charge of their health dollars economists agree the third payment party party payment to drive up the cost of just asking one who's paid for an open bar at a wedding hospitals make government policies that empower them are the principal driver of rising spending for a trillion dollar taxpayer subsidized behemoth that will do everything it can to grow the expense of the remainder of the economy it results the plan results in trillions of long-term federal savings rolling 14 estimated fiscal effects of the universal exchange fund over the first 10 years net deficit reduction of 29 billion dollars the plan will reduce federal spending by 10.5 trillion for a net deficit reduction of 8 trillion dollars the plan will render the medicare trust fund permanently solvent fiscal consolidation will lead to lower interest rates and less federal spending by interest by combination reduced tax burden lowering higher costs and lower premiums should lead to higher economic growth and additional tax revenue and deficit reductions advantage to its military health inflated va and tricare budgets credit other forms of defense spending in particular military diplomacy bills and 13 iraq and afghanistan will cost 4 trillion dollars including veterans medical costs cost of veterans will dominate the defense spending the base va budget Triple. There will be a smaller budget available for core military functions, including diplomacy improvement, budgeting, such as agreed initiatives and training. The U.S. will face difficult trade-offs in the funding new initiatives and research and diplomacy.
diplomacy, military diplomacy reverses coercive behavior, creates long term stability of China. TZ and 14, the current military approach of increasing engagement with China to force all incidents to disqualify the Pentagon to take a stronger hand in guiding engagement with China at this strategic level. In short term, military -mil relations are crucial because of the friction in the security level talks are essential for stabilizing the relationship. U.S. China war causes nuclear extinction. Whitner and 11 win nuclear weapons against Iran's the danger that they will use the deterioration of relationship with China might end up. Another example of gathering tension is clear. Some argue nuclear weapons prevent wars. The cargo war should convince us that such wars can occur. A nuclear attack would immediately slaughter 10 million and bring nuclear winter, creating worldwide fan to burn a U.S. China nuclear war to improve U.S. China relations, ensuring the survival of the world. Integrating the VA into a universal private exchange gives veterans access to high quality care for cheaper results. The nightmare that's rolling 16 is unclear why veterans should be denied the opportunity to see care outside the VA. Veterans have to wait years to see a doctor or veteran organization skepticism or form as a major impact on Congress and system in which veterans gain control over their health care dollars. We more responsible than veterans have to choice. They will seek guidance for organizations to receive medical care. Sources veterans should take advantage of the private health infrastructure. They can retain the option of remaining in the VA. The Veterans Independent Act facilities an independent health organization. A new option for veterans to obtain private cards harmonized with reforms to the individual markets contemplated by the Universal Tax Credit Plan provides veterans with an additional option for private coverage. Spending cuts have translated directly into a readiness to decline now. Panetta at all in 17 BCA caps has limited institutional flexibility as the rest of the world has taken notice since the BCA became law. A policy maker stated that the military is harmed by the cuts based on the global events is harmed to readiness has been noticed and adversely taken advantage by after the BCA cuts spending in Russia and next Crimea. Russia's actions followed the military withdrawal. Military readiness is key to prevent great power conflict lines in 17. A high percentage stepped up military allies. China's increased 26 percent to dominate Asia. The Russia's have become increasingly aggressive. Iran increased weapons production bases are within range demands on soldiers are increasing troop strength should increase the range of conflict to be ready grown exponentially in addition to CT soldiers must be ready to fight conventional wars in North Korea as well as preparing for cyber war. What we have is not sufficient. There is a very real possibility that conflict forces could suffer casualties that regards to outcome the country will lack capacity to deal with any other major contingencies. Enabling private access for TRICARE beneficiaries is key to cost saving innovation. Health Act 16 TRICARE has not had the flexibility to respond to changes in the healthcare system that private insurers have the alternative of waiting to rely on private health plans for beneficiaries while MTF access instead of continuing DOD sacrifice plan. The private health plans face fewer constraints when adopting innovative treatment approaches that TRICARE has faced. TRICARE's caseload skews towards beneficiary care debts. Military readiness the plans key to solve Carson and Plummer and 16 MTFs are bursting centers with no caseload alignments that are demands of operational environmental. The top 10 diagnoses do not match a combat industry. The caseload skews so does the specialty of doctors. MS does not maintain a ready military force. Military hospitals cannot be considered ready as problems unless they shift from a full time beneficiary care. Reorganizing TRICARE's caseload is key to institutional coordination with naval and military units specifically solves undersea medicine. Hot second one, there are coordinations associated with military readiness and MHAs. As a peacetime, the coordination required balance of peacetime and healthcare delivery and readiness training medical support must be carefully coordinated. This may suggest an advantage of the same service support for preventive medicine or can be more effective than they have understanding activities. They are supporting this includes elements of operational medicine such as undersea warfare. One coordination activity that is essential is health case work will we'll do peacetime the case. First MTS there's little ratio to injuries that personnel must be trained to treat the opportunity to institutionally coordinate benefits meals in with readiness requirement by shaping peacetime world war two by reflect treatment expected in war MTS right priority to access to TRICARE beneficiaries. This population does not reflect medical cases encountered in other populations. Problems with falling desert storm and desert shield fall question the service's capacity to provide adequate medical care. And new undersea medicine research is key to undersea military capacity. D'Angelo 17 the less attractive options limits on undersea operations. The goal of new medicine is to mitigate the exposure to extreme environments of our uh, expanded operational level of horizontal diving is a way to enable special warfare sub long uh, missions and confined space with capacity to operate in a deeper, longer, safer, and cheaper demands on novel approaches to undersea biomedical issues. Mark uh, biomedical issues and continued undersea dominance is critical to deterrence and power production. Can you mark this? Ellis in 16 is difficult to oversee the importance of military component. The undersea dominance is integral to ATUAD. DOD attempts on submarines for deterrence and power production. Use Portion gaps in the central conventional terms. We can't get clients in contemporary nuclear cells are much quieter, more lethal. The trans land line is much less favorable to growing inventory. The modern Russian and Chinese submarines are highly capable. The U.S. is receding of a critical and long-standing competitive warfighting advantage and underseen domain. Thus, the plan the United States federal government should establish national health insurance through a universal exchange plan. It solves the fiscal solvency of an entire national health insurance exchanges. That's why 14 universal exchange plan expand coverage well above ACA levels, improve the quality of coverage, and make all care time programs permanently solvent to reduce the federal deficit without raising taxes to reduce the cost of health insurance. It employ a revised version of the ACA. Of resource, prime CFC exchanges and insurance regulation expands the flexibility of insurance. The plan expands access to HSAs because these are reforms that lower cost the younger individuals. They expand coverage. Employer sponsored insurance reform plan preserves catalog tax, but repeals other taxes. The plan migrates Medicaid and population as a reform state based exchange with 100% of federal planning. The plan returns to the state's financial responsibility and Medicaid population. This reduces fraud, abuse, and provides fiscal certainty. Market fiscal certainty. Certainty. You're sending it out, right? Yeah. yeah. And all of our keys were in the I didn't see like a scouting email. So I'm just. Uh, is there anybody who. I got all the judges. And you two, anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, we got Harvard. Oh, okay. Gold do you have my email? Oh, yeah, that was one of the. Um, it's what is it? DWB47 at georgetown.edu. I guess. Uh, the
hard serve, man. That's right. Should be fine. Yeah. I'm just going to open it without to do it. Yeah. Does the app mandate that folks buy into the Universal Exchange Program? Uh, I don't believe there is a mandate of the app, no. Okay, so it just establishes a Universal Exchange Program. Well, yeah. It, and provides, it provides credits for everybody yeah. to buy insurance. Yeah. So it doesn't what's the difference between the app and like a voucher? <laughs> Sorry, what? What's the difference between the app and like a voucher? Well, vouchers, I guess they're slightly similar. Our evidence indicates, though, that the money goes into HSAs that allow them to spend it. So it's a different, like, I guess, mechanism of getting the money. It also does a lot of different exchange yeah. reforms. Okay, so like after the app, the financing. do people who are currently on Medicare and Medicaid get integrated into a universal exchange program? Yeah, the Medicare and Medicaid enrollees are rolled into the universal exchange program. Is there anyone who's not covered after the app? Anyone who's left to the private market? I mean, That's no. What it is. Yeah, it's left to the private market for them to decide. We give them, like, subsidies to buy things. Okay, so the private insurance market still exists. Yeah. But everyone gets well, a subsidy exists. from the universal exchange plan. Yeah. Correct. Okay, how much is the subsidy? Uh, our evidence indicates it would be means tested means over time, tested. so it changes based off of your level of income. Where does the money come from for the subsidy? Uh, it comes from the repeal of the ACA uh, Cadillac taxes. Excise taxes. Excise we excise leave taxes. the Cadillac tax. Or yeah, we leave the Cadillac tax. It comes from the excise taxes. It comes from uh, the current taxes that exist and the rolling of Medicare and Medicaid into uh, ACA the Medicare. Medicare. What, what's taxes. the tax? Sorry, what? You just said you rolled back the tax. We roll Medicare and Medicaid into the exchange program. How does that pay for the whole voucher? Our the evidence indicates that it would significantly lower the taxes costs. that pay for Medicare yeah. and Medicaid services now and Go ACA services are reallocated yep. to the universal exchange. And that's enough to provide universal coverage for everyone who wants to buy into the exchange? Yes. What piece of evidence do you have? The that? ROI evidence says it would be sufficient. The ROI evidence? The plan uh, expands the access to HSAs. Because these in reforms lower the cost of insurance for younger individuals, yeah, they have lower the cost. expand coverage. So the reason yeah, I mean, we don't maybe. give like 100% coverage for everyone. There's still like deductibles and co pays. Okay. Um, the premium subsidy. Yeah, fair. So the internal link to the military advantage is about inflated VA costs. Why doesn't the VA still have to pay the same prices after the app? How does it change the way it's funded? So our evidence indicates that the plan would result in the passing of the Veteran Independence Act, which would allow those who are under the VA to buy into private exchanges right now with the money they get from the military, which they are currently not allowed to. The Veterans Independence Act? Yeah. Independence Act? I am. It's the bottom of the piece of Roy uh, <laughs> evidence that starts with spending. Um, yeah, so uh, my next question is the internal link um, to this undersea medicine submarine thing. It says that there are a bunch of coordination issues with medical readiness and that there are peacetime coordination requirements that pose a problem and that there's not enough money. How does the app solve that? So uh, I forget what piece of evidence it indicates, but that the reason we don't have military readiness right now is because they're overburdened with the focus on uh, VA bureaucracy and kind of coordinating. Okay, so the internal link is this Veterans Independence Act. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which I guess I got It's in
I'm just really caffeinated right now, to be totally honest with you. Like, this is not, th I'm sorry if I'm acting like a freak. I got, you know, I was saying this was a lot easier when I was like 19. Must be universal, comprehensive, accessible, and publicly and publicly administered. Mulder and I, not, not, not any type of health care coverage for all the country's population, government finance, guaranteed and or mandated health insurance, uh, insurance for all citizens, placing virtually all responsibility for both regulation and financing of health care with the government. The major features include the following: it is universal, covering all citizens, it is comprehensive, covering all conventional medical, it is accessible, with no restrictions on services that are covered or extra charges to patients. It is affordable and it is publicly uh, administered. All citizens have the same public health insurance coverage. Vote negative, predictable limits. They explore the topic by allowing any minor uh, modification or expansion of insurance makes negative research impossible. Ground negative ground relies on substantial departure. The status quo, their interpretation makes negative prep irrelevant. Vagueness, the plan is vague. Textual ambiguity is specifically bad for health care education. Right, bring in 15, one study in health related six and ambiguity. Lex Law with multiple meanings, semantic, is with more than one interpretation. With a linguistic for second modality, not specific, and not specific attitude, it creates uncertainty with respect to action, whether an action is possible or obligatory. Vote negative. If a plan is crushed into a uh, crush them to crush death or a way which ruins the the education, new after voting issue because they make it impossible to be negative. The midterm DA blue wave coming now. Dr. Lips governorship down in 2014 has partial election along with the result gives a strong indicators, a number of vulnerable GOE and GP incumbents, increased approval of uh, ratings of big indicators. History suggests this will be the loss of uh, not only many uh, not only many GOP seats that could impact the government race around the country as well as other down uh, as well as other down by offices. Health risk to damn victory. Scott in 322. The health uh, risk to be Republicans this November. The uh, leader enemy enemy the backlash that of course not that force them out of power. I definitely know they have one issue in 2019. Remains are now so, uh, weeks before the election. Voters blame the party in power for what is wrong. Uh, what, uh, what is right or wrong with their health? Uh, with their health, they are right. Uh, more ammunition for voters have to the polls out there. Has, uh, has been a powerful has been a powerful uh, motivator. Land decisively won the healthier vote. Democratic governors uh, uh, saw a key to solve climate change. Acted at 18. Uh, climate change policy happens on the little on the state level 39 states with election opportunities to elect I like I come friendly executive union can transfer states got a greenhouse gas emissions directory and Murphy signed a cap and trade with the same I don't have to leadership in the climate in the climate fight necessary insufficient to solve warming extinction but that's in 17 the uh, I trust grave danger I grave danger to our mind we can solve the most severe impacts on climate change steps taken by state leaders to indicate about uh, governors are stepping up our GGI with lower the, lower the clock on the carpet talking about I brought a sample of the state's global leader adopting a half and trade out a trim for something acting out from such a inherent planet leadership on the state level may be able to raise a gap at the federal at the federal uh, level global leaders are more, or more likely uh, more likely to visit governors mentioned that governors make up the climate change mantle and made by Trump and help the US. But leave by example around the world, Madison acknowledge climate change and that's right. Multiplier conflict our region share problems of political, economic, and social instability guys exacerbate. But climate change, I, I drive that reason without uh, food and water. The states kind of plan the 50 states and all well in territory should establish national health insurance through universal exchange plans. It solves it causes a federal fall on Herbie and 70 more states are taking out from the conversation that states have explored our options, leverage model waivers. Models can fundamentally reshape the framework of health, health markets can what Massachusetts says would be a single healthier market for everyone, medical care provided to all residents. The you know, federal government using the state plan is a blueprint for national reform. Massachusetts provide a roadmap the ACA actual business provide a work and for an exchange of uh, never expanded federal government single payer program states and through the laboratories of uh, healthcare policy. The advantage counter plan the United States federal government uh, should utilize revenue fully reverse military spending cuts and fully fund the military to the degree uh, to the degree referenced in their TSE evidence, fully fund MTFs and the MHS and pass the Veterans Indep Independence Act, the NHS counter plan. The United States federal government should establish a national health insurance. The United States federal government should narrowly prohibit national health insurance because insurance contracts are not interstate commerce. NHS solves that COVID and 17 comparison to the health system I found the NHS leads across the across the Isaac admin of efficiency. Yeah, well, uh, right here, where's not comes uh, the analysis included data from the, the WHO, OECD, and all other countries, U.S. ranked last year, UK, came top in the U.S. Uh, 44% of difficulty assessing healthcare higher earning than the U.S. is more likely to meet very, uh, meet very long term. In the U.K., we have a solvency. I've had counter plan is key to invalidate other federal insurance regulation, COBOL and 11. The uh, courts assume Congress may regulate health insurance, but that is one thing. Uh, the part of regulating commerce does not include health insurance, where health insurance is a state, not federal jurisdiction. Courts have relied on a single run each decision. Uh, Southeast, uh, the Southeast under regulation should have ruled that case. Congress refers only to a subset of economic activities. The court affirmed that Congress did not include insurance. Uh, the weekends in the south, uh, southeastern area suggested that a prime candidate for overruling the insurance regulation would remain a second term, which remained uh, in Nigeria until 2010. Uh, the court of health, many economic uh, regulations, how the insurance is held on holding on insurance and helpless commerce. Those are bad. Federal insurance and on health insurance is new. Uh, on health insurance is new. And in front of the industry and econ terms are wrong. Cats and 14 absence. 
the, the ID stamp, causing a presumption of mutual and or present identity, complex transactional challenges are provided, obtaining this cooperation, which have limited the access while the military military dialogue has deepened. Ready and sustainable for trace and seeking, but this glosses over a border of facts and merits, outpending force, maybe ready for battle, they have extreme, uh, they have extended combat, a combat experience, their national defense budget far exceeds the whole war average, the national defense budget, a healthy 30 hour percent of military spending is more than the next eight countries combined, and depending on a budget by equipment, a 100 billion a year, a healthy and sustainable level of equipment, a equipment or anything, you change the typical, uh, typical source of a new work is done, is not now significantly better, there's no crisis in military readiness. Uh, status of everything. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, yeah. okay. Can you, you, you can kick my face if that means, yeah. Okay. Uh, net benefits to states is just midterms. Yeah. Uh, net benefit to NHS internal. Yep. And s the advantage counter plan net benefits? Uh, both. Both. Okay. The, and the Samoa counter plan only the internal net yep. benefits. Uh, Samoa counter plan, do the Samoans have ACA exchanges? No. T, what apps are, or T and HI, what apps are topical under your interpretation? Um, single payer would be topical or public option as well. Any app that finances. Why would public payment? option be topical? Some well, public options aren't universal. Well, I mean, if it's not a universal app, then it's not T. Like so would Hacker's are, proposal be topical under your interpretation? Um, probably not. Okay. The uh, midterms, DA, the main evidence you read about healthcare being key is about the Pennsylvania special election poll where they just ask people, is healthcare important to you? Why is this a good model for determining whether or not well, healthcare is key to the not, overall midterm? That's not the entirety of the issue. This was a situation in which a Democrat was able to win in a county that Right, the but the question they votes. asked about that was, do you think healthcare is important? And people, no, the other polls where people were asked a separate question. I understand, but the poll that this is citing that says that healthcare is key to land victory was just that question. Why is that a good methodology for determining well, the importance of healthcare in the midterm? demonstrating that people are caring about health care in, in swing districts that are going Democratic. Why is, I mean, congressional act, why does congressional action change the way governorships races sure. are determined? One, people generally vote just straight for the ticket, so it means that if someone is turning out to go and vote for the Democrats, they're going to vote for their Democratic governor as well. Two, it also Why do people only vote turnout. straight ticket? Well, like, the majority of voters do that. That's why? Just the way it's, because people don't know what's going on in their individual elections, and they would rather just say, I'm at the polls, I might as well just vote Democrat because I like Democrats or Fair Republican. Enough. Cool. What do states do to solve warming? Um, our evidence talks about initiatives like the RGGI as well as also cap and trade policies. What is the, sorry, what's the first one? The RGGI, which yeah. is like a regional trading agreement between different states, I think New Jersey, California, and What What is that Washington. trading agreement? Is it just like cap and trade? Yeah, they do okay. cap and trade, but our, we'll read evidence that other states are trying new policies. For example, Washington. The NHS counter plan, I guess, why is state regulation of exchanges better? Um, we have a couple of reasons. One, our COCOL evidence as well as our CATS evidence indicates that federal intrusion into healthcare industry makes it so the industry shuts down entirely because the federal government is bad at regulating it. Therefore, it should go back to state authority, which is the way that it Perfect. was until 2010. Uh, spec, I guess, why don't solvency advocates check? Um, we think they have to spec in the plan so we can get a counterplan ground. Why? So you can pick out of things? Yeah, the picks are good. Okay, fair enough. The uh, biotech innovation argument, why do super soldiers prevent China from miscalculating? Well, our evidence is in the context of the arms race between the U.S. and China. And the mallet evidence is about just creating super soldiers, I guess. Why does that prevent miscalculation? Well, it prevents mis miscalculation because the race in biotechnology means that there is a risk that there's But why does that change China's intentions about whether or not I the mean, U.S. is acting aggressively? Like, wouldn't Our evidence super speaks beyond it and says that there's an incentive for, like, people to go to war if you're way ahead in the super soldier tech. Yeah. If you're yeah. Captain America, you're going to be I'm sorry, just the way I finished it, I have to go to the bathroom. Fair enough. All right, the twos may be for the bathroom. <laughs> Robo squad this day.
Debt advantage. Do we have our cards? Yeah. Debt advantage. Military health advantage. TNHI. Vagueness. States. The uh, advantage counter plan for the military health advantage. The NHS counter plan. The pick out of Samoa. Defense without answering the call, 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 the US is driving off a fiscal cliff and the status quo of healthcare spending escalates say uh, trade trillion dollars it causes uh, US to debt default there other countries don't think we will repay your debt which causes Russia and China counterbalancing it uh, which causes Russia and China counterbalancing only eliminating entitlement spending is key uh, to reducing uh, is key to reducing this otherwise uh, international conflagration is inevitable yes there is an impact of consolidation that causes price gouging lack uh, of private life and lack of price controls means that uh, individuals don't have the determination of their healthcare dollars which drives up prices because a third, 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 third party payment the warrant misbehavior evidence is FTC blocking, but it's blocking horizontal, not vertical mergers in the status quo, which are the key internal link to price gouging. Trump doesn't thump its uniqueness for the advantage. The plan shows engagement with the international sphere shows that we're not uh, inevitably going to withdraw from it, which proves that there's no impact to the tariff anyway. The military health advantage, there's no game on the military diplomacy, internal link, military, military connections are key to solve China friction and spending cuts. Uh, are decking readiness in the status quo causes Russia annexation of places like Crimea and expansion. Tricare flexibility is independently key to letting them refocus on innovation of care for individuals who are subject to combat injuries. That's key to understand medicine is key to power projection, which solves uh, terminal escalation with Russia and China. The Russia, uh, their China war defense assumes the status quo of deterrence, which is undermined in the status quo because of funding cuts that the counter plan doesn't solve and because of uh, lack of bureaucratic consolidation. Tom Kelly. Or more bureaucratic. We meet the government as the single financer of premium sports everybody's counter interpretation. NHI is government funded universal basic coverage in the government. 17 NHI is a legally enforced game that ensures the national population of the public and private are a combination of both funding mechanisms. Very NHI does not equate to a government run contributions or maybe a taxation not optional, even though uses that means NHI can use private insurance companies if the funding comes from the government. It's the best middle ground. It allows after diversity and mechanisms to be, but the diversity is capped by a national program. They boast only single payer debates, which are a disaster. Thompson 93 and NHI policy can vary to qualify as NHI statute. We need to entitle the entire population to medical care. The policy can assume any guys as variations by the direct level of the government of all the critical Program elements include financing mechanisms, government involved in subsidizing, regulating, and administering the program. Any program qualified to be called NHI requires basic service to all citizens. The policy hypothesis would then contain some mix of ingredients suggested by the matrix. Our interpretation preserves net ground. Government financing means that you get the economy and cost containment to says, and private markets are not net ground. Davis in 82, the U.S. does not have a national health insurance plan. Universal health insurance coverage has been blocked for two reasons. Consider about cost of the medical industries, political opposition, the industry chief concerns center on price and quality coverage of health care. You should default to a reasonability competing interpretations incentivize a race to the bottom that crowds out subsidies. The comprehensive violation NHI meets. NHI is universal coverage. Thompson in 83 to qualify national. Health insurance is statute we need to entirely the entire population of medical care coverage to be universal within this framework. The substance of the policy can assume many guises. Counter interpretation, comprehensive benefits mean high cost medical events and services. Prefer the interpretation. It solves uh, it solves limits. CDO and 16 CDO defines health insurance coverage as a comprehensive policy that covers high cost medical events and various services. The agency grant assessments that one is a widely accepted definition. The definition excludes many events, plans, strategies, policy, supplemental plans, fixed dollar indemnity plans, and any single service plans. Vagueness. It's not make, it's not big. The one I see solvency evidence backs up financing mechanism and we'll defend everything that's in our solvency evidence. Cancer, Caitlin answered every question of cross ex Bruce cross ex checks. We uh, would specify more. There's no ground loss. Vagueland ensures the negative gets more dissatisfied. Leaks new after not a voting issue. Otherwise, there's no incentive for research. It makes too busy, uh, to make too easy for the negative in the semis and it's not real world because uh, and it's not real world because nobody disclosed you IR. You should cross apply you should cross apply reasonability counter interpretation. We only get to break new apps against teams that are faster than us. States. <laughs> 50 state fiat is a voting issue. They force us to debate utopian ideas not based on the literature. Can artificially fiat pass solvency deficit, making it impossible to be affirmative federal waivers to state action solves their offense permutation to both. It shields the link to that benefit because it's perceived as state leadership. If that's wrong, it proves the counterplan links to that benefit because Trump would take credit. It can't solve Medicare, Medicaid, or CHIP. It means they can't solve value based uh, care, which is in the context of all the one you see. Roy evidence are escalating costs in large swaths of the population. Eliminating self insured risk of plans is necessary to the debt advantage. Roy, it's 61 employers, particular coverage insurers are required to offer coverage to everyone. Companies take advantage of a risk of self insured instead of paying premiums to an insurer. Roy, say those comes directly. These are exempt from state insurance regulation. The universal tax credit reforms are 
possibility lowering the cost of employer coverage would expand the ability of small employers to allocate the workers utilizing consumer driven exchange or pay cases excess tax will reduce the cost of coverage the counter plan requires congressional approval to solve the cancel of the military advantage and violates the risk of flowers in 18 federal health plans are included over 200 plans the VHA and TRICARE is not possible to merge all these programs into a single state system the CMS does not have the authority to give federal Medicaid dollars to the states which will block rent state can still not force the agency to the state plan it would capture some of the Medicare recipients it would require a change in federal law even if the state cannot compel people to choose their plan this would add more administrative costs to the program states do not have the authority to regulate plans offered by businesses that self insure which is 60% recent challenges have not been favorable Vermont Mutual was decided to give the city even though Vermont did not target risk it had a connection to economic effects for substantive coverage or effectively restrict its choice no advantage follow on Trump no follow on that evidence proves that Trump proves they won't follow on with progressive health care policy the advantage counter plan permutation do both. It's an example of permutation do, do both. It shields the link to that benefit. Permutation do the counter plan conditionality is a voting issue. It gives the negative non reciprocal double terms that make the two AC impossible and prevent thefts. It doesn't solve the rest of the cost coordination advantage, which means it can't solve either of our internal links. It doesn't set up state level exchanges. It doesn't repeal Obamacare excise taxes, which means if it does, it links to that benefit just as much as the affirmative because there's a bureaucratic nightmare coming. There's a bureaucratic nightmare in the VA now in the status quo that the counter plan cannot solve. It just solves funding. It doesn't solve the tricare trade off internal link because it's not about veterans, only refocusing on combat injuries is sufficient innovative flexibility to solve under Medicine, which they considered the terminal impact to NHS. Permutation to both NHS's government control of healthcare providers separate from insurance number 16. NHS is a healthcare system in which the government operates facilities, payment and delivery systems are separate, single payer described the funding uh, delivery. We solved the internal link to the, to, the, to the internal end benefit because we return power to the states and restore primacy on the exchange, which what all their evidences in context of it can't solve debt. The NHS is hemorrhaging money. Campbell 16 hospitals have run up a record deficit. NHS deficit is three times bigger than the year before the true scale was much worse, but in mass by accounting device a billion dollars or a billion pounds originally earmarked for capital spending was transferred in the NHS resource budget. Trust made decisions to use accounting tricks are selling assets to disguise their plight. NHS is much worse for quality of care than the status quo. Campbell in 17, the health gap is growing in England. Those in the most deprived areas run a greater risk of premature death. Seeing a child die soon after it is born and ending up in the hospital as an emergency care. The, uh, as an emergency case, the negative trend indicates the NHS are failing to take effective action to end inequalities, rates of death from cancer, heart attacks, and strokes are rising among residents of the poorest places compared with those in wealthy areas. The Samoa pit. Permutation to the counter plan. Normal means is a possible outcome, not a direct mandate. Pits move the one AC and encourage lack of clash. They have no solvency advocate, which means they uniquely lack predictability to force this debate against contrived net benefits. You can also cross by the Thompson evidence on topicality. You prove the app can do the same thing as the counter plan. Permutation do both. Permutation do the counter plan. We do not affect Samoa because they don't have ACA exchanges in the status quo. That was cross X, which means uh, there's no change. Trump bumps the cultural autonomy internal link. There's no reason that healthcare is key and other policies obviously overwhelm it. They can use the plan, allows people to use premium subsidies however they want. You could, they've conceded that HSAs allows individuals to generate considerable wealth, which is a larger internal link to cultural autonomy than uh, their, than their evidence. The governor's dissent. Democrats disunity thumps algorithm 3-7 early numbers suggest is good news for the Democrats Republicans that actual record big return on the Dem side. There was bitter internal strike. Democrats can be concerned about their ability to mobilize populism party to find self-facing enthusiasm invested on the Republican side. There was clear union Republican voters will support whoever is on their ticket motivated to act as a bulwark against any blue wave raising expectations of a wave could be dangerous constituents are disinclined to vote in the midterms. Privatizing Medicare is massively unpopular. McIntyre and 16 more people oppose turning Medicare into a premium support system than those who favor 55% of voters said Medicare uh, should continue as it is today. 26% of the also has a search number all 70% uh, uh, said they back maintaining the program as it is today. Dempsey's a potential of Medicare changes of regular attack point in the fall in the weeks following the Election cross X proves there's no vote switching because voters are ideological. The governor's internal link is, is illogical. Also, only a few states would implement the regulations, which isn't enough to uh, which isn't enough to establish climate uh, which isn't enough to establish climate control. Gun control thumbs burnt in Turkey with 322 thousands of students demanding the gun violence. The march is beginning. A moment of political awakening. Millions and millions of people is going to look scary to politicians who will be eligible to vote and have found to make gun control laws a central issue. Many hope to organize and lay the ground. The issue has become a focal point for young people who are just fed up. I'm going to vote them out of office, and so is my entire energy competing impulses to find those students as voters. Mueller thumbs he either exonerates Trump or uh, gets him impeached, which makes it a major cam issue. Campaign, campaign issue among governors, even if it's not directly tied to them. Can you put warming impact defense biotech? Link term, the app increases revenues by eliminating cost sharing, brewing at all in 16, doubling cost sharing, result in 23% decline in use of limited cost sharing, increase in terms of decreased spending without increased cost, increased utilization, apply increased pricing power, and exert upward pressure on prices. Revenues increase as cost sharing falls in favorably, increase in cost sharing, subsidies, reduces utilization, pushing revenues down where hospital consolidation thumps the internal link because innovations are going to profit and price gouging in the status quo uh, and things like fee for service. They're not going to biotech. Biotech is on the decline because of self inflicted wounds and lack of government involvement. Milne in 17 forced and profiles to put the drug industry perils a series of self inflicted resulting from outlandish patient economic cycles, economic policies, industries, and from the darling investors of the world is standing on the brink of extinction then try any age funding has fallen 25% venture capital is no longer willing to invest pharmaceutical companies have shut their R&D focusing on me too drugs biotech companies are disappearing America's academia's R&D capacity over building response to NH funding search now least fell some this is already being done just not broadly enough or quickly enough super soldiers don't solve the miscalc internal link they probably make it more likely because they're super soldiers that are scary and there's no evidence that since the tech is likely in the status quo share buybacks some more than 17 companies spend more on share buybacks than on our and key buybacks exceed 11% of R&D spending buybacks not that them against shareholders might concern about lackluster research the key cause of high drug prices restricted access and cyclization of shareholder value there's very little drug development lies in them for a couple of months as likely the company is to experience long-term growth success who buy back shares instead of investing or committing corporate suicide. Back to the uh, governor's dissent. 
There's no impact of warning. Shiny and 15 number history. There's a distinct warning. Previously, the program increases not increase appear. Unprecedented IPC warns that IPCC warns that climate change is likely to have a severe consequence on our rare emissions and heavily critical sensitive to account for adaptive capacity. Humans are tough and adaptable. We survive by stages with primitive technology. Their climate internal link is about international cooperation, which proves that either uh, getting on the phone should be sufficient. Uh, it proves that either getting on the phone should be sufficient, or there's no reason that the AF or there's no reason that the AF makes that less likely. States can't solve warming. Cap and trade means you can overgo the emissions limit. Cap and trade means you can overgo the emissions limit, which means if they uh, don't win, that there's a universal system, uh, then there will just be a race to the bottom where states will sell all their cap and trade policies. Um, also, conservative states obviously won't implement Trump's uh, climate policies or progressive climate policies. Not Trump's, progressive climate policies. Cool. Good yeah, to go. That card should be set. Thanks. Sweet. Okay, so when the plan is implemented, what services are covered? Uh, well, that's kind of the service that people use the money to pay for services from So private, how much does, private, like, private does private each individual stuff? person get the same amount of money? Does it work like the voucher system? No, it's means tested, so people below a certain amount of the federal poverty level, I think it's 250 or it's maybe 450% get essentially the entirety of what requires comprehensive, or the entirety of uh, the cost of comprehensive care, uh, okay. like the Medicare benefit packages that exist in the status quo, those okay. are just being rolled and stuff. What happens with the ACA exchanges? Like you made arguments about how the states exchanges yeah, don't exist. Yeah, the plan what makes the plan use, allows the states to take the lead on those exchanges. It lets the states take the lead. Yeah. So what does that mean? Like what baseline requirements so do the states have to meet? Do you want to answer? Okay. So our argument is that there are, uh, as per the piece of Roy Solvency evidence, indicates that there are Obamacare excise taxes as well as ACA uh, regulations that prevent states from effectively regulating. Uh, insurance products in the status quo. Our argument is that by repealing those regulations, those federal regulations, the plan allows the states to kind of design those? more localized, uh, you know, smaller what are, policies. What are some of those regs? Uh, like the regulations on uh, what benefits have to be covered and what services cannot wait, be covered. Wait, wait. The excise so Like the length of plan, the enrollment yeah. period, et cetera. Like wait, all wait, the things wait. that so prevent state Can I talk about this benefits thing really quick? Uh -huh. So does that mean that like individual states are now able to change the essential health benefits they that are can't covered? Exact, well, I don't think the plan maintains essential health benefits as a structure. So then what is comprehensive health care after the plan? Because you said that you provide The 2AC counterinterpretation says uh, it should be in context, or that it, comprehensive care is defined, or universal coverage is defined as a uh, covering high cost medical events and services. So, so does that mean that so the states are required to cover high cost medical events? And they're services? Yeah, they're required to cover catastrophic. If they decide sure. to lower the benefits. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. So high cost medical events and services, the CBO card says that. Does that like plastic surgery is really high cost. Does that count? Well, it's not. I don't think so. Does it, why? Like the CBO. Because that's not a high cost medical event. Yeah, that's, that's a specialty a, care. There's a distinction between a events care? and specialty care when hospitals are providing and charging for things. Okay. Um, like one is like you yeah. get to choose whether you get it, one is an essential high cost event. An important function of insurance is to provide financial protection against high cost, low probability events. Okay. Um, the argument that you made like on the Samoa counter plan saying you don't have to cover Samoans because the ACA exchanges don't exist there, mm -hmm. how do you meet universal? Well, I, it's not an argument that we have to cover Samoans. We give premium question. exchange. We give well, premium wait, wait, subsidies wait. to Samoans, but your internal link cards is like forcing exchanges onto okay, Samoans. So is give, bad. You give premium subsidies yes. to Samoans. Yes, yes. HSAs. They can use them however they want. That's okay. what an but HSA. Your is. argument is about. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, theory arms were states bad, condo bad. What else? That's it. I think that was it. They also said text bad. Oh, okay, that's right. But don't worry, I was close. Natalie's got it. <laughs> so, that's not.
I once had, so I had my first cup of coffee before my first MBT UM when I was a freshman. And, no, before my first breakout. And I sat there the entire time like this. But you had never had coffee. And then I had my like first before Red Bull before the doubles one year. And I sat there the entire time like this. So I like to not like try new caffeination. Wait, you've never had a diet soda before? No, a soda, but like a Red Bull. I know, but I offered you a soda. Really and your done. response to it wasn't that. No, I was just telling you some caffeination stories. Cool. <laughs> And then the NHS counterplan, the state's counterplan, um, then the um, innovation DA, the debt advantage, the military advantage. Congress's authority to regulate the business of independent insurance extends only so far as Congress's authority to regulate 
Interstate commerce, no perms, must be the levity, force will be examined, and serve to expand the scope of Congress's sovereign authority and recognize all of the states. Direct regulation of the many aspects of insurance law, contradiction of long-standing principle of reverse preemption, which first state regulation for preemption next to apply. Where the challenge for our laws is a little effort by Congress to regulate the insurance industry, the McFerrin and Ferguson Act will likely not be used to limit preemptive effects. Mark that preemptive effects. The perms permutation do the NHS necessarily severs out of the insurance part of the app, and any other permutation doesn't solve the internal net benefit, which is focused on overturning the commerce clause. We have to, again, win a very low risk of the internal net benefit because it's been conceded. There are internal links about why NHS doesn't fail, aren't connected to the advantages. One is it still gives a ton of money to hospitals, which is significant to solve that internally because it guarantees fiscal solvency. Two is the VA budget trades off with defense spending, but the plan brings the VA under NHS, and there's no evidence that it trades off with the VA. Now, the state's kind of fun. I'm not going for it. I'll concede the permutation. 50 state bans are raising to reduct the argument, not the team. I know you're all sweating a little bit because I dropped conditionality on the other page, but conditionality is good. It's key to neg offense, especially at the NDT. We get to do whatever the fuck they want. If they want an in depth debate, they just want to disclose the app, which solves all of their offense. And our interpretation is you get conditionality when they read a new app, and whatever, that's fine. He's not going to go for conditionality. Mm -hmm. I like you too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree that what the thing should look like. <laughs> the innovation DA, I'm not going for it. I can see that super soldiers are stupid and that technology is not key, which proves there's no uniqueness for any of their link terms. The also word unique is evidence that says that biotech <gasps> wounds are self inflicted, which demonstrates that even if hospitals change the way that cost calculations work, it can't overcome those self inflicted injuries. And the red impact defense that takes out the impact, the debt advantage versus the impact. There isn't one. The economy never collapses because countries turn inward and they don't fight with one another. Clary, in 15, evidence shows rivalries are twice as likely to determine as during the downturn. It's only for all the affirmative of application and the observation that these rivalries between two foes. Every time it says nuclear weapons, he's built a common enterprise in September. Changes as well as compounding variables. This question, there's a same theory, some of the national reserves of its version where PCR results from economic trouble. There's no impact to the plan. Those are 14 during the national stages of the crisis. Multiple analysis determined the crisis. These may be the same thing. Increase the use of force through the repression of virtual wars. Our personal registry of the public power hospital. The accurate data through us otherwise. Safe lines is going as well. It's the same as it was in 2007. We're essentially not prevent any increase in violence. Confidence in the kind of violence that started with the end of the Cold War have not been reversed. And trade pounds the DA. This internal link explanation makes no sense because if healthcare prices are key to international cooperation and sending a signal of how the U.S. wants to behave, trade, Trump being a crazy mother fucker and saying he's going to create tariffs on China is obviously a way bigger internal link. We only have to win the perception. Crew win in 18. The Fed's rationality won't be enough. We have a choice policy crisis. We have to start the cycle of different China travel. Retaliation which shift the trade war and making the world as a whole poorer. Never mind the loss of jobs. The billion workers will be forced to change jobs. Companies losing and will lose trillions in stock value. Hurts fundamentals. Handling in 18. Even if Trump's off the tariff or definitely delays the investment time because we persist in this thing of a cold a trade war. Great idea. Period. With greater risk of U.S. tariffs. In a road business happens. Living America vulnerable to a crisis. Agreements provide a predictable regime during a crisis. Precisely, precisely when one calls for protectionism might be I'm going to read some more defense now. High health care spending isn't too bad. It's just a transfer payment. Poly and thirteen rising medical spending is another American's rising income. The, uh, we have seen the rising rapidly spending before and life went on. Getting better for most of us. Serve in periods which spending fell. These were all followed by swinging in the opposite direction. High growth will return to the average. Medical care GDP shares one of the most nonsensical statistics ever. Has medical care has been growing by improving productivity, which strengthens other spending and leads to higher income. There's no limit to the share. It doesn't kill the economy. Poly and three. The high spending growth is largely high prices and income scratch that. I just read that card. Vouchers don't solve health care costs. Savings in third twelve. Higher insurance simply cannot compete with Medicare. Private insurance is fundamentally more expensive. The private class has been over cost, shareholder profits, and insurance costs, and marketing expenses. The goal here at Medicare is extremely efficient. 97% of the average Medicare dollar goes to medical care, and only 87% of the dollar goes to medical care and individuals insurance. It hurts those who are already hurting the most. The voucher system is a fixed benefit plan. The fixed voucher will simply buy less and less. The wealthy will supplement vouchers by ad paid insurance, while average senior costs will likely not have the resources with unaffordable co pays. Marked at co pays. This advantage is very, very long term because for them to actually fix health care costs, the plan has to actually be implemented, and the exchanges have to operate. People have to get health insurance, and there has to be overall market stability, especially for them to resolve their international. Signaling, signaling our, uh, arguments. Cost is down. Stock in 12. Actually, growth in health spending has slowed in 2016. Given my lower enrollment cost in health insurance, which leads to decreases in medical service, Medicare, Medicaid, reduced spending, and fewer people enrolled in private insurance. Well, coverage spending under Obamacare, out of pocket spending is not covered by insurance, was 3.9 percent. Given my ongoing shift toward high deductible plans and enrollment, then Medicare remained fairly steady. I'm marking that card at fairly steady. The inflation internal link. The Fed just hiked interest rates and will keep doing it inevitably. They want to restrain growth, which proves either the impact is inevitable or the app is insolvent. Robin 17. Inflation is below the Fed's 2 percent target. The Fed will look at when they tend to raise the interest rates. So the Fed has increased rates four times. Evidence of the market response will bull the Fed to hike more markets. See a rate hike is a done deal. Fed is already projecting three rate hikes next year. The Fed could bump up its projection <laughs> to four. And they fill in for modern and seven dash twenty. Do plan far ahead. The Fed is the nation's leading expert in forecasting how many federal reserve points one of the staff policy switch to PDG economies. It's similar for too much growth. Inflation will feed in a one fourth percent increase in Fed funds will curb inflation. And the Fed fund rate is the primary tool of the Fed. The military advantage is absolute nonsense. Their blinds evidence says a rock in Afghanistan alone cost four trillion dollars and are expected to cost five 
to six trillion more, but that the VA budget is 700 to 800 million. I don't know that much about math. That's a lie. I'm going to be a math teacher next year, so that you should trust me that this makes no sense. None of their impacts rise to the threshold of saying those few million dollars are what's key to the budget, which is what's key to ensuring that the U.S. is ready enough that they can respond to a conflict, that they can then implement the types of global cooperative measures that are key to preempt a decline in readiness. There's dominance now, no impacts. We're in 13. The Navy has dwindled, but it says it's fine. There's no cost for long. Agility, firepower, and operational reach dwarf anything. The current carriers are 10 times more powerful than just two decades ago. Thanks to the position of nations, the Navy will electronic building protocol. Have to say, Asian crisis. The Navy's worth the China to stand up. American companies with a breakthrough as for the global common to behavior on the seasons and mountain motion to the ciphers. That's all the security need to handle your average pilots. Our one and see evidence says that the U.S. and China will never go to war because they both have an incentive to turn inward. Tensions are low. Diplomacy tracks rusty. And 15, either party is successfully ideological. Both parties recognize they really need mutual accommodation. America today will quite go with an internet just to avoid a collision that low. Suggesting China realizes escalating old grievances is not in its interest. It's the Navy also can't de escalate crisis. This is Boston 12. Primary fear to mobility is not technological. Transcends actually sail in here is an appointment of resources. I think that's going to hold triple automatic and the labor rules often demand that they take time. The reason the crisis is continuing to travel and do Navy vessels was delayed while the operational analysis were addressed. Bureaucratic briefings for the global hesitancy can be fatal and operational requiring rapid response. If we win implementation issues and the econ advantage, it also complicates this one because they can't solve the spending trade off. Cultural diversity, self-extinction, go. Uh, cultural diversity means that we have the ability to implement, to, sorry, integrate different perspectives on things like the environment, on things like social justice, the democracy, etc. And how does that spill over to like what Trump and the U.S. are doing in the status quo? I would say that it's more of like a long-term structural uh -huh. thing that the NEG thinks is good. You know, when we in integrate indigenous perspectives in the way that we govern in this country, it is a good way to you know, influence the way that we interact right, with other countries abroad. All right, will you defend that that, leads into, that that leads to a specific policy change, or? We'll defend that it's, you know, it's good for social justice, it's good for democracy, it's good for the way that the U.S. conducts itself. I think our one in right, evidence substantiates like the claim good stuff. that the U.S. Does is then less aggressive. It's really great when there's no self Does the counter plan yeah. uh, so repeal great. the entirety, or uh, I guess nullify the entirety of the Commerce Clause? Does the counter plan nullify the Commerce Clause? Like the counter the plan changes the way that the, the, I guess the counter plan nullifies, yeah, it does. So no, just no more Commerce Clause. Well, the Commerce Clause is no longer able to regulate insurance. Like the Commerce Clause obviously okay. still exists, but the way that Commerce Clause precedent operates no longer allows the federal government to overreach to into insurance, insurance markets. Okay. The yeah. what is the? I, I just missed the internal link to the hospital. Uh, the the reason the counterplan solves the hospital internal link. Because the piece of evidence that you read in the one and see about short term collapse of hospitals is about hospitals having enough money to finance themselves in the short term, i.e. the reason that healthcare costs are so high is because hospitals can't cover the cost of their patient. We think that the counter plan, which injects a ton of money into the way that healthcare in the U.S. operates, solves so that, especially in the context of short-term Where does the counter plan funding come from? I don't know, like the same place the AF funding comes from, probably some extra deficit does spending. Does it repeal the same taxes and stuff like that as the AF? Um, I don't know. I think we'll just say we deficit spend. That seems fine. Okay, wait. So it is, it's deficit. Yeah, and I guess we'll say we repeal the same taxes as the F. I don't think it really matters that much. But we repeal the same taxes as the F, and like if it's a little more expensive, which probably is, we do see that. Okay, spending. that's fine. Uh, the healthcare cost low evidence is from 2003, and is about the debt to GDP ratio. No, so we read healthcare cost low evidence from more recent than that. The poly evidence is, is about why healthcare costs aren't that bad, so it's not. No, but the reason they're not that bad is because they're not no, outpacing no, 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 no. the, so the, the debt to the GDP reason, ratio. The, the is argument that this high. author makes is that. The reason that health, high healthcare costs aren't a reason to panic is because medical costs fluctuate, especially in their relationship to GDP writ large. Our evidence says that even when healthcare costs get higher, they usually end up coming down and empirically statistics that inflate the danger of healthcare costs okay, happen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the piece of Krugman evidence talks about a cycle of tit for tat retaliation in response to Trump's tariffs. How does that go down? Who retaliates? Well, so I think that this has already kind of started happening. What happens is Trump is like, we are going to tariff you. That's not a verb, but like you get it. And then China yeah. is like, oh no, like we're going to tariff you back. And then what, Europe what is like, we're going to keep There's tariffing you. There's less trade that's bad for the economy. Okay, so it hurts perception of growth. It hurts confidence in the economy. It hurts businesses. You get the picture. Make sure I keep the deals. It's the midterms. Actually, I can do something on Vegas.
this really quick. No? No. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So vagueness then vagueness. Vagueness. You don't actually have to go to vagueness. Are you making talking about? I'm joking. Stop Come fucking on. with me like that. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to say they don't need to counter Stop! Just do the speech. Just give the speech. Just give the speech. Just give the speech. Just give the speech. Go. Okay. Everyone's good? Oh my Hold god, Bernstein. Warming up, ways the app, sea level rise, resource shortages, and extreme weather guarantee extinction, prefer the probability of our scenarios, their internal and kids are contrived and checked by inevitable, it's that they require their inevitable and settles of cooperation, but you can't negotiate with the environment, also turn there's not waiter, it was put a figure, what is taking place, conversation with the Antarctic, and you see made up with the world lately, I take the perpetual planetary, and the planetary catastrophe, the warming grass, it can represent the truly, I, I, truly a planetary, I, a truly, true planetary catastrophe, the gap in current efforts, and what's the enormous, you will come up benefits from anything, uh, close to this type of matter, or pandemics, too, it, too, it seems, I, it seems like I needed additional efforts, and probably about to a small fraction of national income, climate change, and further historical precedent, there's little reason to believe that humanity can G-based physics, uh, basic uh, physics and chemistry, uh, chemistry charts every impact. Well, it's a linear risk, but Charlie, and many are thinking of warming, increasing risk, uh, risk, and irreversible impact. Uh, the risk can be reduced by eliminating the rate of magnetic climate change. Besides, levels can trigger irreversible climate change. We uncertainty, but the risk, but the risk associated with uh, causing such a risk increases uh, with rising temperatures. Specific uh, species, uh, species based on uh, increasing risk, uh, climate change, uh, migration, uh, food security, global temperature increases, combined with increasing uh, food demand, plus large risk of uh, food security globally. Uh, climate change will uh, lead to increase in the health, uh, climate change to increase uh, risk, uh, risk for people, assets, uh, economies, ecosystems, and heat, uh, heat uh, stress, extreme uh, precipitation, uh, uh, flooding. Uh, I draw water scarcity, uh, sea level rising, storm surge, climate change impacts, slow economic growth, uh, slowing up, uh, economic growth, increased displacement, uh, displacement of people, climate change, increased the risk of violent conflict by, uh, by, uh, by, uh, by amplifying drivers. I'm going to say that next time Republicans won't implement the plan. Norris and 17, the uh, state, state led by Republicans, uh, governors adamantly opposed the ACA, they would not implement uh, state, uh, state, uh, state run health insurance. They exchanged dumb governors have expanded Medicaid, where most of the streets are turned out and uh, returned federal grant money. Some have passed laws and amendments. Uh, they have a state run exchange. GOP governors blocked expansion of health insurance. Chapter 16, Medicaid expansion hit the C4, uh, what governors will die, uh, order to bring more uh, benefits under the ACA momentum. Uh, and take the lever of Republicans and destroying the visible, it's increasing like that, that there will be no more state taking advantage, uh, advantage of this federal funding to expand uh, Medicaid, but dams pass and it causes fall on March 17. California showed the way forward, uh, but was introduced uh, to, uh, to be a single payer, and Newsom was uh, promised uh, has to have one day, and he becomes government account, a candidate single payer did not begin as a national program, was pioneered in Saskatchewan, uh, Canada, the Universal Health began as a uh, sub national initiative, but expanded to the national level. The same thing happened in the US, uh, universal, uh, universal Health Care in California would, uh, would push policy and public opinion in favor of greater expansion. Two receive one, the, uh, yes, a, a, a blue wave now, voter enthusiasm, fundraising, and fundraising is sufficient to put down, uh, push down the victory, which is by uh, special elections, they have control of the electorate, so let's find Ruby in 3022. Uh, Dems have the opportunity to do every increasing large share of the electorate when this many voters spend as many demographics. Uh, groups really don't like the president and become the well in general by uh, around fellow Republicans. Attitude on behalf of your left bank. Uh, behavioral indicators, Rothenberg in 320. The uh, Dems are very likely to win control of the half general ballot. It's against 8 or 9 points. Advantage these numbers might be dangerous. Pick up the president and his party. Dem wave, current 320. There shouldn't be uh, there shouldn't be doubt that Dems are running away he uh, heading into the midterm election. There was clear before land. There's much, uh, there's much evidence uh, uh, there's, uh, much evidence, uh, evidence of Democratic states. GOP in action since the Dem won in November. Ruben in 319. There won't be, uh, there won't be legislation. No consequences. Republicans not plan to run on the tax plan. They tried to have them in Pennsylvania and got wiped out. The Congress, uh, the Congress is virtually nothing but the tax cuts. Or many voters might conclude that his members have failed to address the issues near dear to them, including health care. The Republicans might consider solving these big issues. Not they'll hand up the powerful argument that they get a lot more done than the Republicans have. It wouldn't be too hard to uh, 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 specifically, gov uh, specifically governors. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any uniqueness evidence, so I'm not going to read any about governors. Crap, now we might be just crashing. Um, go up. The link turn. The plank is the GOP. Uh, the plank is the GOP. Went on healthier. That's sufficient to be able to uh, propel, uh, propel them to a, to a midterm election. Uh, another link turn. Evidence is actually specific and doesn't talk about uh, uh, what uh, electoral what, like, consequences would happen. The plank is the GOP and the conversation run on, uh, uh, which takes on the, the election. Bill Bergen 17. The uh, GOP thinks they can hold on by running against the media. Better strategy would be actually getting things done. The only way for that to happen is for both sides to get their act together. Tom will be uh, all about in 2018. What is presently hanging in the balance? Their uh, link turn also doesn't apply because of Scott. Evidence is hyper specific and says that premiums are going to be announced a week before the midterm election, which means that the plan is able to reduce costs. Like their first advantage says that means that everyone would be more than happy, even if Medicare gets repealed, which means that uh, which means that uh, which means that older voters would also be happy. Health care failure, checking GOP chances of only nine twenty six probably leaders are facing blackouts if the uh, latest after repeal of Obamacare fails. Voters are frustrated with the lack of accomplishment. Their frustration is on full display now. Blame Republican primary run off. Uh, the Republican primary voters will have even more confidence in the GOP establishment backups for Congress. So if he's negative, they would be in much stronger position if they had to be about how to reform health care. Another evidence actually talks to the electoral consequences. It just says that the plan may be unpopular, but our evidence is actually speaking to how it would affect voters. The third of the AC repeal is key to damn victory, showing nine twenty and who are the Republicans to keep their Obamacare real life. Democrats say, I say, please, that was me. That was right. Obama didn't help. Just in front of the line is the ticket to the campaign. And the, the, the 2018 campaign is, I can't be seen. There's no chance of taking back the House. Where the issue is going to remain from the Senate. Republicans are presumably telling you if we are going to continue over and over again to try and take away the other voters. I voters are in health care. That's the two most, uh, most important issues. The link out ways. That was already explained above. The, all the arguments that they made about them. It's not something more. And it's key to momentum. Trading seeds. Both the GBA uh, and 17. I, I say, government's acting in a kind of way. Northern Pledge can't ever start ever reducing their bigger bad answer. Control. I say, legislators join the 
see you can roll like environment over there can we sing growing with animal hunter at the uh, climate action in the steel well let's just cpp if i have uh, uh, bible science in 1917 that gives our unanimous opposition to governance of the long-name person for a low-carbon economy policy not the formation of the u.s climate alliance i've made to uh, achieve the goal of reducing our emissions at 26 and 28 percent i'm meeting or seeing the cpp cpp was for an effort of being legally enforced in town to act in the state like those in the alliance it's all the extinction camilla said the 16 threat posed by unchecked climate change is overwhelmingly recognized coming uh part of the ambitions of the cornerstone of the efforts to adjust climate change and the cpp is a very component under paris uh climate change represents tragedy tragedy the commons of paris offers an example of how the leadership can bring such a dynamic uh capital implementation is a is central cpp's uh strong demonstration that the u.s is able to meet its commitment to uh, build off of with that ambition 2030 commitments uh this will jumpstart the, you know, the, the virtuous cycle action by all the countries uh, all the countries that humanity's about to to uh, to address, uh, to address this great that contentious threat healthcare is tedious the election it's the most salient electoral issue and it's the only thing that voters are going to be caring about we uh, we're the battle boss gun control uh, gun control this matter for the t 318 with the president shooting guys over on the uh, people's mind gun control uh, gun control uh, has had his long way to go to make it a problem voting issue i would say it's likely the big question is whether well, anything we're resembling that, uh, that could become uh, 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 become factor in the fall election it's hard, uh, hard to just, uh, just based on uh, just based on how uh, uh, just based on past, uh, past uh, experience death candidates are on the offense among health care it swings it swings the governors katie and 70 in the way the vote that we get a problem here if the uh, republican governors and good royal candidates are running a 20 who may i think the biggest political price health care is going to be the number one issue in the 2018 midterm election the republican institution for governors i've been a variable i wouldn't when they lost to apply for where to avoid a republican provision as a lot of them sure you know different i don't put a liberal republicans on the spot uh, dems are going on the offense of health care across the map going to help the health care to uh, help your debate right now the more important uh, and, and more opportunity uh, opportunity dems have the more that thumps argument is irrelevant because our, uh, our argument is about uh, is about how they're analysis on dem action
Samoa counterplan, NHS midterms. Governors. Or governors. Whatever. Something about something something elections. So let me just double check. You said military, debt, advantage, counter plan, Samoa, NHS, midterms? Yeah. Awesome. Anyone not ready? I may not be a math major anymore, but our advantage definitely makes sense to me. I got an A plus in calc solution. Definitely default to a yes, the AA in the cost of the military are running what the budget is right now. That's our uniqueness argument, which is able to solve the plan is necessary to take down those costs. They don't want a deficit anymore. They're more effectively able to coordinate things like bureaucracy and coordination for regulations. Only the plan is able to solve because it solves the reasons why they coordinate health ineffectively in the school by getting rid of regulations. The domination argument is our evidence from 2016 it indicates that we don't have new technology to be able to solve things like readiness, in which all of our evidence is necessary. Says is able to solve things like cost and injuries, etc., and necessarily hamper our ability to have readiness and scores. Able to solve the no China war arguments. It just says that people that China and the United States are ideological bats. Our argument because Trump is more arrogant, because China if they perceive Trump as being more aggressive, means they're more likely to go on the offensive when our military capability is low, which means able to solve. Second is only the plans able to say, or second is U.S. military decline and things like nuclear subs, etc., means we don't have the effectiveness to be able to check things like Russia and China threats, which causes extinction. They dead advantage, yes. We agree that the, 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 the no collapse arguments, the, the collapse arguments, uh, we agree with the impacts of no economic collapse. It's not a question of U.S. lash out, which is only what only this evidence speaks to. It's a question of counterbalancing by foreign powers. China and Russia are doing that right now because they see a fiscal weakness within the United States. Only the plan is able to solve. They see no impact of consolidation. Yes, it causes price gouging, which makes it impossible to be able to solve the SEC vertical mergers, etc. All prove those things that Trump thumpers don't make sense because this is uniqueness about the fiscal insolvency of the after the cockloff evidence indicates that things like tariffs are only a uniqueness of driving off the fiscal cliff. Only the plan is able to solve the reasons why they're bad in the first place and they won't collapse. The things like the fiscal economy, the cutting off evidence indicates that spending is so bad that we'll go over our budget by 70 trillion. That sounds pretty bad to me. The next argument is the productivity internally doesn't make sense because price gouging necessarily internally turns out because even if people are, are getting more wages, being more productive, it's trading off because they have to pay more when they go to the hospitals. The vouchers don't lower costs. Our means doesn't assume, doesn't assume things like means testing and uh, capitated payments to hospitals, which means our evidence is able to solve the long-term impacts. Our evidence says it happens into one to four years, which means it's much shorter term than most of the arguments. The medical debt arguments don't make sense. And the Medicaid cost down arguments doesn't take our advantage. I've solved the Fed IR hikes right now. It proves our, we're driving out the fiscal cliffs. It's uniqueness for us. Only the plan is able to solve the, fi the Fed fills in argument. They don't have the funds because they're going to go over their budgets. The advantage counter plan doesn't solve the military advantage because it doesn't solve the coordination and bureaucracy internally. So even if you increase funding, it doesn't change the ways health services are provided, which only the plan is able to solve. It definitely leads to the midterm to said because the Veterans Independence Act is a health care fix that would be spun by the GOP as a win on health care, which, which the one in our internal link does not set up a link differential between comprehensive coverage and that, which means they're not able to solve. It's my counterpoint. Net benefit doesn't make any sense because the plan does not require the implementation of new HGA exchanges, which the only the link is about our evidence indicates that it would just give things like HSA and premium subsidies, which doesn't implode the healthcare the healthcare market in Samoa. It just gives people more flexibility to spend premiums, which they've conceded the 2AC piece of evidence that indicates that it aired the 2AC argument that that's more better for flexibility of cultural indigenous. They conceded that Trump thumps the entirety of the impact because he hates immigrants, especially ind indigenous people. The DAPL pro pipeline is proved, which means he would just undermine cultural sovereignty even the counter plan necessarily be able to solve it. Permutation to the counter plan should be legitimate because normal means doesn't necessarily require uh, doesn't necessarily require establishing uh, ACA changes, which is the only internal link for uh, the internal net benefit. It doesn't sever because even if we give premium subsidies to smokers, et cetera, the net benefit only competes off of things like ACA changes. It doesn't solve it. Or actually, yeah, the NHS counter plan. Natalie says they give more money to hospitals, which proves our hospital consolidation link because they just give the hospitals more profitable, which proves that the NHS cannot solve any of the debt arguments because there's no regulations on how my hospitals price gouge and how they price things in an NHS, NHS scheme, which means they will solve the permutation to both may be textually severance, but it functionally is not because we do not have federal regulation of insurance exchanges, which is what the net benefit is about. Rather, we return that power to the state level exchange. I don't have to reinvent the wheel here because you should have gone for tea because that is obviously not topical. Our argument is that we don't. Even if you prohibit NHI textually, that's bad competition because it results in contrived counterplans and net benefits. Midterms.
Didn't get to mule earth enough time, enough time. It definitely destroys the midterm election because either they come out before the election and Trump gets impeached, which means it may necessarily ruins the GOP chances of winning, or it just looks terrible on them. It doesn't solve it. That's a double line. Brooker and 316, the tribal warfare mule is probably fixed. Such opinions on the president's alleged guilt and innocence of canceling other, other partisan divide this from eventually shifting his attention more conventional subject, occasionally dropping out a tree and making a march to limit what he calls a winch hunt. The warning does not wait. They conceded they warrant so the shiny of its adaptation is able to solve. There's no ecosystem that's destroyed. We've seen things like Warming there. The other interest groups, things like international core operations, able to solve. There's no reason that U.S. emissions keep the outweigh card. Doesn't say anything about it. It just says that it takes 20 to 30 years for the impact to have, which means time frame necessarily outweighs the first insurance case argument. Doesn't just says warming bad. Doesn't say we solve the Stanford MS necessarily. It just says that pe soldiers won't be resilient. We solve that by making them more resilient in training group. The GOP thumps the argument. Yes, they hate the ACA, but they love the plan because Roy's the libertarian. Able to solve this. Don't solve yeah. the plan because it just says single pair there. More can comprehensive benefits. The Indian fighting to thumps the UDD. This four dollars three five dollars California votes for the nation in 2018. This about banning. For Democrats, the Democratic Party endorsed refuses to endorse fine sign rejection is potentially important data for civil war between the Democratic Party. They refuse to the California jungle system. They divide into both and isolate the Democrats. Their worst enemies are enemies. Say durable fiat to solve trans case. Durable fiat to solve all the trans case arguments because we get implementation of the app is the only way to be able to be able to solve. California proves that Dems lose that cyber in 315. Potential that's a rearing in California replace Isa and Royce. Got a group of Democrats with a new threat to split the primary vote. Democrats face him in a quadri. Where Mark's district all can see the market district all can see their argument that ACA replaces popular with a GOP. We Necessarily sabotage the ACA by repealing the taxes and regulations, which proves that we cause or we, did, we destroy the GOP and the Dems can use that as a healthcare failure link to be able to necessarily win the election, which is what our link turn was in the context of because the app is not spun as a fix. Okay. Uh, we've got 
Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> okay, so we've got this governorship's DA, uh, the Advantage Counter Plan, the National Health Services Counter Plan, the pick out of Samoa, rip, uh, military debt. Military report debt? Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have to step before the military. Sorry, I wasn't implying anything. No, you, know, you weren't, but it, it made a light bulb go off. It was unintentional. Actually, it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. All right, are we ready? That's all right. We good? <laughs> all right. It's try or die to prevent Trump from ruining our chances of slowly warming forever. That outweighs because sea level rise, ozone clouds, biodiversity, endless conflicts, and eventually extinction from which we cannot recover. You should prioritize impacts that are existential because it is impossible to negotiate with the environment. It turns all war or one in our cards. It's that it makes things like resource sharing and cooperation impossible, which proves that every impact scenario the two we are will go for is terminally inevitable. They have one piece of trash impact defense that just says adaptation is possible, but the reason adaptation is possible is because of things like state behavior that make up from our moronic president who refuses to do anything about the environment. We've read a slew of evidence that speaks to the ways in which the state can recover and implement solutions to environmental issues. Our Vrbosky evidence says that they create momentum and implement trading schemes which are sufficient to reduce the worst impacts of climate change. Our new and John Stevens says that that can significantly reduce emissions in our IFL science. Evidence says that in particular the Democrats can unite to implement the CPP which also independently solves extinction because it creates checks on environmental collapse from other areas. It also solves Paris which answers their international spillover arguments because if the states effectively collaborate over something like the Clean Power Plan that's sufficient to also cooperate with international actors which answers their alt causes because it proves that the DA spills over. Their next arguments about rollback don't make sense. Even if there's durable fiat, our Norris evidence says the Republican governments will resist implementation of the actual markets which demonstrates that private insurance still gets fucked up in the world of the app. Our Jasmine evidence says that they explicitly block expansion. It's empirically proven under by the NAPA because they've made it very difficult for states to take advantage of federal funding by implementing new restrictions. Our Marx evidence says that the Democrats will do single payer even if that doesn't solve every internal link to the app. It still guarantees some sort of cost efficiency funds hospitals and proves that the VA goes under a national system which solves their internal link to the military. Their uniqueness evidence is terrible. It says that there is some Dem infighting in California but they've conceded too many nuanced arguments with ours. First is that the House spills down to down ballots because the majority of voters just follow on to how people are voting in other midterms elections. Their evidence is too old. It's from 3-5 and not predicted. We've got two pieces of one in our evidence that speaks to the overall trends in the election. We've also read a card defending our models and says that those pollings are the best way to predict the election will actually happen. You should prioritize evidence that speaks to the election writ large because they've conceded that argument about how ballots spill down. We've also read one in C evidence that says that they will win the governorships now, which is also newer. They will... They also don't have the conclusive evidence that California proved it spills over to other issues. The link debate, the plan is not an ACA sabotage. It fixes it by stabilizing markets and reducing prices. They've conceded a lot of one in our analysis and cards. One, premiums are announced right before the midterms. The plan would massively lower them, which their entire solvency argument. Second is the GOP needs any accomplishment in order to win. Our Goldberg evidence and our Rubin evidence indicate the GOP needs any sort of win to be able to win the election, shifting the message away from tax reform bill and other issues makes the GOP move back to the popular. Third is think about how the GOP explains the app. We give tons of money to the states so they can implement a free market system. The GOP base would go bananas with how they love that. You should hold the line on two AR extrapolation. Their one AR argument was that they would take advantage of the ACA. The entire point of all of our link arguments is that Dems need to be able to push the GOP and not doing things about healthcare in order to win the election. There are arguments in the 2AC is absolute garbage. It says that people get pissed off when they, their Medicaid benefits are ruined, but that doesn't apply in the world of the F because the F fixes Medicaid benefits such that it still gives credits to insurance, which is not what their evidence is about. Now, the advantage counter plan. I will just go for the first plank of the advantage counter plan and kick the others. It reverses military spending cuts and fully funds the military to the degree referenced in their TZ evidence that is sufficient to solve the vast majority of their internal links because it guarantees that the military is fully funding, can implement effective cooperation, and solve the app. If it's true that this isn't adequate, neither is the plan because the clan may, can't make up for other barriers to cooperation. NHS is not going for all. I can see the permutation just as has a competition. Pick not going for it. RIP Seth is just as has a competition. The dead advantage. They have no answer to the trade thumper, which is enough to get the advantage to zero because we've had three very very good pieces of evidence that speak to impending trade restrictions that are enough to spill over to international markets and create massive insecurity when it comes to things like stocks and jobs. Our Krugman evidence says it creates a policy crisis by which other countries are no longer inclined to cooperate with the U.S. Stock value
values are losing trillions. Our Hanley evidence says just this reception of tariffs caused people to lose business confidence in the U.S. economy and leaves them vulnerable to a long-term crisis. We've also read impact defense that says there's no terminal lash out, which demonstrates that if trade isn't enough to spill over and collapse the economy, neither is the AF, because the AF just changes some healthcare costs, and we have defense that says that healthcare costs aren't predictive of long-term growth. They haven't read convincing evidence that answers the argument that inflation will always be controlled for by the Fed because they'll intervene when it's getting too high, or they're hiking interest rates inevitably, which just demonstrates that healthcare isn't the overall determinant of whether or not the economy collapses. Even if they decrease prices somewhat, it doesn't spill over to the industry writ large. The threshold for them winning this, winning this advantage is winning that healthcare costs is the burden of all international collapse over the economy, but they don't have signaling evidence that says that this is what dictates whether or not countries cooperate over the U.S. and things like trade. The military advantage is an absolute joke. Iraq and Afghanistan alone costs $4 trillion plus $5 to $6 trillion more, which is their blind evidence. The VA budget is $700 to $800 million, which the plan would only save a bit of, which proves that at best they give a few million dollars more to the military, which is not sufficient to change the direction of how cooperation exists, and if it is, the counterfund certainly solves. Our terminal defense demonstrates that whether the VA gets funded is not the terminal deterrent of whether or not countries lash out, because we already have naval dominance. There's tons of investment in the type of technology that's necessary to prevent decline, and that's not the overall determinant of whether or not war breaks out, because countries' intentions matter more than the U.S. military. Our China defense says that diplomacy checks. If their internal link is just about cooperation, trade also thumps this argument, because we've read evidence about it, but if not, it proves that they will always cooperate, and there is no scenario for conflict, because deterrence works, dialogue works, and neither of them wants a fucking nuclear war.
Swamps all of their internal league defense. You should read the Kotlikoff evidence before you decide anything else in the debate. It says that we're driving off a fiscal cliff in the status quo. Healthcare costs escalate to $70 trillion, cause hyperinflation, and destroy the ability of taxpayers to literally pay for anything the government does. Taxes have to be so high that the government cannot finance itself with a much larger internal link that swamps anything like impending uh, trade restrictions or Trump's, uh, inter and Trump's internal and Trump's internal links. All of the two in our captures this impact defense into the context of stocks, jobs, and business confidence. But debt is a massive internal link because it destroys the ability of the U.S. to pay. Uh, back those things which destroys confidence in things like stock, jobs, and business confidence to a much larger degree. They can be trade, and the trade thumper is not the, the trade thumper is not sufficient to collapse the economy because there are things like uh, exemptions and all the evidence they read is not conclusive on the question of whether it will collapse the economy. But our hospital consolidation evidence is, which I don't think is an internal link. They answer they've conceded that there is massive price gouging in the status quo. It incentivizes massive uh, expenses of healthcare because of third party providers. The impact is counterbalancing. They've conceded that fiscal uh, weakness causes Russia and China to lash out uh, against the U.S. and international actors because they perceive institutions to be weak and U.S. economic privacy to be ineffective to uh, deterrence, which solves much uh, uh, to, to be ineffective to deterrence. Now the healthcare cost defense we just because there's not high, just because there's not just because some inflation is inevitable in the status quo doesn't mean hyperinflation is at least to the very same degree that the Kotlikoff evidence uh, is in context of. If we win that healthcare costs are escalating due to hospital consolidation, which the counter plan doesn't solve, and all of the YC Roy pieces of evidence says drive up the cost trillions and trillions of dollars that the plan solves, and there's no uh, reason this is a piece of this is a piece of impact defense, especially because in the world where it's inevitable because of price gouging, the advantage counter plan. It doesn't solve our coordination internally to military health. I'm not going for a spending argument. I'm only going for a focused trade-off argument about bureaucracy. Read the Roy evidence and remember when the VA crisis was perpetuated on the news, bureaucratic red tape and legislation which plagues the VA out makes military coordination ineffective. Otherwise, U.S. military focus turns inward on resolving bureaucratic inefficiencies and not engaging with other countries. Increasing funding doesn't solve this. It's necessary to restore the ability of veterans to have more control over their healthcare dollars through private exchanges. Otherwise, things like long waiting list services cuts uh, are inevitable, which the status quo proves military and military coordination is necessary to solve escalation. It creates long-term stability with China, which subsumes all of their defensive interdependence warrants because it assumes U.S.-China cooperation is effective in the status quo, which RTSE evidence says only happens because of things like joint military drills and strategy coordination. Otherwise, because of Trump frictions or miscalculating, it escalates to conflict. It links to midterms. It's a healthcare fix. Their evidence is more generic than they say it is, and they did not have a judge kick argument in the 2NR, so you uh, have to stick it for them. The military advantage, I am the farthest thing from a math major, but 800 to 900 billion dollars in context of 4 billion is about 20 to 25 percent. It's a massive uh, internal link. It's, it's a massive internal link, and it doesn't matter any, uh, anyway. The naval dominance checks argument doesn't solve military to military coordination because it's a question of our focus. The China D I answer on the counter plan. It assumes effective coordination. China has an exemption from the trade tariff, which means this doesn't uh, thump it in the war in his ideology, which is the reason why they would lash out against the USS for the 1AR argument midterms. I'm pretty sure the 2NR just didn't answer the Mueller argument. I know it's a, uh, it's fine. I know it's a piece of evidence about, uh, it's, I know it's a piece of evidence that's theoretically about the midterms, but it does have an effect on governorship races. One is that all of their internal link evidence assumes that there is kind of a down ballot uh, effect from people uh, voting Republican in other races too, which means that if we win that uh, Mueller thumps the ability, which means if Mueller thumps the uh, healthcare key internal links, then they uh, cannot win, they cannot win that this doesn't apply to the governors, that they, they cannot win that this doesn't apply to the governors. They said it'll be a key election issue. Either he will exonerate Trump and Republicans will take, cre uh, take, clear, take credit for victory, or uh, he will or he will say that Trump should be uh, impeached, uh, or he'll say that Trump should be impeached or indicted, which is something that the Democrats can coalesce around that is not health care failure. There is no risk of a turns case argument because institutions are key to things like resource cooperation, to things like resource or resource co to things like resource cooperation. Only the affirmative, uh, which is all of our debt internal, like the shiny evidence is sufficient impact defense. It says that it's not, it's not a warrant that the state is key to, uh, the, the state is 
not key to adaptation. Humans are tough and adaptable, have survived worse sites than things like primitive ice ages. The ability to share resources inevitably means that there's no uh, risk of escalation. Trading schemes don't solve. I don't think they answer the one error argument that there are international operations that, uh, that, that, that there are international operations and other schemes that might exist in the status quo. There have no articulation of why trading schemes are specific to CPP internally. Shawnee answers too because it's about other side of uh, biodiversity. It's about biodiversity and things like that, but that's resilient in the status quo. They say the GOP will, uh, the uh, terms case argument of the GOP resisting markets. I'm not sure where this gets them. Durable fiat means the plan goes, uh, the, the, the means the plan goes on the books. It is a fiat in, uh, mandate of the plan to return primacy to state-based exchanges, which is why you should have gone uh, for topicality, which means that inevitably solves, and if we win our internal links, we solve the, uh, mm, Oh, the Dems do single payer argument solves none of the F. Our internal link is about entitlement spending. Uh, our internal link is about entitlement spending, which that probably makes worse. The uniqueness debate: the GOP is popular now because of a perception of a blue wave that is providing motivation uh, for GOP voters to win. There is massive Democratic infighting in the status quo, which answers their down balloting argument. If there is Democratic infighting, then there uh, will not be a coherent Democratic. Uh, there will not be a coherent Democratic message in any of these specific uh, governors' races. Our argument cites thing. Our argument cites the, 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 the two AC piece of Bardella, the one AR piece of Bardella evidence indicates that. There are things like jungle primaries in California and other states prove that because of the inevitable controversy and uh, infighting between Hillary Dems and Bernie Dems that they will not coalesce around shared, uh, or they will not co coalesce around certain individuals, which means Democrats just don't uh, get it, which means Democrats might just not get into the election. It means they won't turn out anyway. Our evidence makes a predictive claim that Republicans will always vote down ballot, but Democrats will not because uh, of the system, which means uh, because of this system, their link evidence is not what they say it is. It is an ACA good argument, which means if we win all any of our uh, internal links and descriptions about how the affirmative destroyed the ACA by refueling things like excise taxes. Uh, by refueling things like excise taxes, the any accomplishment argument doesn't make sense because either they're shifting away from tax cuts in the status quo, which proves the Democrats should win because the <laughs> Republicans have the, which proves Jesus should win because they have a message.
tournament. I won't overdo that. I'll cut to the mustard of how I decided. To me, the app ballot that was the most tempting that ran through my mind just boiled down to Neg whiffed on the Mueller thumper, no decide, app wins. Um, before I talk about the Mueller thumper, let me explain the parts of the disad that, you know, sans that question, kind of put it at a very high risk. Uh, in a different day, I do think like a a more protracted link versus a link turn characterization of the app could be a, a big problem. That might have been some of the strategic design of the affirmative. Um, but I thought a little bit in the 1AR and even more in the 2AR, maybe just not enough time to deal with negative characterization of the plan and then like the entire question of the marketing scheme that the Republicans would use and the platform of how they would jump on it uh, as a mode of decentralization and et cetera. And so that whole kind of spin game I thought went negative. Um, your impact D leaves a little bit to be desired. I think it is quite good at suggesting that not every single last human would die, um, but very bad things would happen in a world of, of climate change that I wanted to avoid. Um, your uniqueness evidence is okay on the democratic civil war kind of question, but just some like analytic reasons to prefer. Their evidence is more recent, it's more conclusive. Um, it arguably prices in that variable, although you could push back on that a little bit more. Um, so I thought the disad was at relatively high risk sans the Mueller argument. The problem is that the Mueller argument, just because it's not handled well by that NAG, doesn't magically make it like 100% takeout. And in its full weight, um, it really only suggests that people are incredibly partisan about the investigation. It doesn't do what a thumper subsequently often does and sort of give a magnitude to the impact that that would have on the election or its ability to swamp other issues. And so while I, I do kind of want to encourage Georgetown to have more attention to detail, I ultimately thought that when I like pieced it all together, it didn't really get at whether or not healthcare was a big or bigger variable or all the other factors that were embedded in the uniqueness debate. So I ultimately thought that even in its full weight, it didn't really get you very far. Um, the case, this is a little bit tricky, and I'll start on the debt advantage on the case. The debt advantage, you are right and wrong about the trade thumper. You are dead on that it does not speak to your internal links. You're not accurate that it doesn't speak to thumping your terminal impact from posing. That card is quite descriptive of precisely what's going on. And so um, it thumps, I, you know, I, and it is a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I thought you did a very good job of teasing out that your internal link's not really about business competence or stock markets. Your evidence supports that. All that was, was uh, pretty strong. But I gave them some pretty good reduction on that. Um, and then uh, your military health advantage and kind of what you buckle to as it relates to China so I wonder if any of the other judges th thought this. So there's this, first of all, I didn't think the counterpoint link because they kicked out of everything that dealt with healthcare. Um, so then it was just a question of whether or not the counterplan throws money at the situation a lot in order to sufficiently solve what I basically believe to be like an aid trade-off to SAD where the VA is trading off with money that would be devoted to Chinese diplomacy. Um, you were correct that in not tackling bureaucracy, the counter plan doesn't do all the affirmative does, but ultimately the terminal impact to all of that is just the amount of resources that exist for Chinese diplomacy. So the counter plan was relevant. I, I don't want to go on too much of an aside, but the counter plan funded 
at a level set by a card which had no funding. I level. know. The, the yeah, that was so weird. But ultimately, I, yeah, they are like, fund as much as the Tiesi card says, and the Tiesi card is just not, says nothing. It, not about that aspect of the advantage. So there was, I bracketed that and ultimately determined that the thrust of what they were trying to communicate was throw money at your internal link. I thought that reduced the advantage. Um, I thought they had some other impact that was somewhat relevant. And just in, in total accumulation, the advantages I just thought were at a lower degree of probability than what I've described on the disad and I vote the negative. I, think I, I don't think I differ substantively on anything that Will just said. Um, I would say, I think, and he mentioned that maybe there's a strategy that fleshes out the link term debate. I think both the 1AR and the 2AR would have been better served by, I, I think there is a spin that your plan mucks with Medicare in a way that shouldn't be a victory. And mm -hmm. I don't think your card is great, but that last line about how Democrats seized and hammered on it the last time something like this happened, that's the part that I think you need to be capitalizing on and making arguments that, and that combined with, I, I want your uniqueness evidence to be a little bit better. Um, I, I feel like they have more recent evidence and all the things he said about framing, but also just sort of your uniqueness cards talk about two states where some stuff happened about primaries. I would like something that's more broad and that they, you know, they're fighting about how to approach health care or something like that so that this gives them a way to unify. Like, it just seems like that would help you better access that as offense. And I understand why the you get bogged down in both the 1AR and a little bit in the 2AR on the impact part of the debate, but if you are if you just dug in on the straight turn where you might be right about the direction of the link, mm -hmm. I think you would be better served. That just You needed a slightly more coherent strategy. And I understand also the temptation when the 1NR gets to Mueller and says something, but it's kind of incoherent why you read or why you decide to jump up and down about that in the 1IR, except that the card that you read is highlighted, the, the line that you're missing is the very first line of the mm -hmm. card, which says the GOP yeah. is fucked either way, yeah. and literally. Uh, but that. you don't have that part highlighted, and that's not the part that's read. And I, I literally couldn't figure out what I thought the highlighting of your card meant about the dissent. It was just sort of like Trump, there's some tribalism, and Trump has tweeted about it. Like I could not, Yes, it's dropped, <laughs> but I just can't figure out when they've got a whole bunch of healthcare key arguments and stuff like that. So that's why I think you would have been better served by digging in on the link and link turn argument. The last thing I want to mention that Will didn't talk about was the uh, the characterization in the 2AR on durable fiat, I think fed their argument. You said durable fiat means we restore primacy to the states. They are saying state governors will not implement your plan. So I'm not sure that that was sufficient, um, and so I also thought that that was a problem for you in that it was going to undercut your solvency. I so. thought about that, but I think that their only relevance to the case is saving the feds a whole bunch of money. So even if the states do nothing, at least <coughs> it's not in the federal budget. I guess it's true. If they yeah, you know, lose the but I did agree with her characterization that you needed to, you were at times characterizing your affirmative as like this, sort, yeah, exactly, and so it was relevant that if the state governors, yeah. yeah. For healthcare costs, like yeah. stress costs, yeah. Yeah, it's very yeah. like hospitals. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I won't add too much other than I do want to suggest, or I guess reiterate, that the kind of um, link turn strategy for me is where I thought that the debate was going to go. Um, a couple of suggestions about that. Um, in terms of making your UQ line up with your link turn, I think you want to focus on the impact, the perceptual impact, at least in this debate. Um, won't be relevant for next year. You know, there'll be other perceptual impacts, I'm sure. Um, but Medicare, right, is what like old white people love. Um, old white people also love to vote Republican. Um, that's ten that tends to be like the turnout advantage that Republicans have in midterm elections. So if you had to, like a UQ card that was like old white people are going to vote Republican now, um, now they're just going to turn out reliably. And then the GOP like wrecks their health care perceptually. It's like it doesn't really matter if their premiums are stable in October because you know they have great health care now. That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like make your UQ kind of line up with your um, link turn strategy. I think that would have been better. Um, as it is, I thought, you know, I agree that they kind of won some strong uniqueness stuff, et cetera. Um, and again, as far as the Mueller thing goes, um, an additional suggestion here, uh, if you want, you know, this to be like the ballot and like the thing that, you know, we kind of just zero out the dis at, I think it just set up a little bit of a framework for how to evaluate it. So at the top of the 2R, I'd be like, hey, Mueller, the word does not appear in the 2NR. Um, it is a thumper. We have characterized it as such. 
right? You know, technical argumentation is a value in debate. Um, they've conceded it. There's a card associated with it. Whatever your thoughts are about that piece of evidence, please do not include those in your assessment of it, right? Which is like, the, you know, the 200 doesn't say it. They had multiple opportunities to answer it. It was conceded in two different speeches functionally, right? You know, just- It was a big negative yeah. talking point in the middle of the debate, yeah, like exactly. nothing, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing happened. Yeah. Like they yeah. talked about it, but didn't answer it. You, and you know, just be like, be utterly ruthless in your evaluation mm -hmm. of this argument. Because, and then what I thought the two AC description was actually the best version of it. Yes. You, could, you could use the evidence to, to kind of contextualize and spend a full minute on, you know, just like, just pontificate about the Mueller investigation and the impact on Trump and then talk about governors and then they would have to, you know, et cetera, et cetera. They would be forced to respond, obviously, if Trump is like under investigation or impeached or, you know, like what does the, what does the governor of, you know, Virginia do in that circumstance? He's, he obviously has to respond, you know, if Trump is about to be thrown in federal prison, um, you know, like three weeks before the election. You see what I mean? And then, then it's kind of like, you know, all of us are like, well, your car doesn't really say that shit, but the 2AC said some of that stuff. And the one AR read the card and extended it. You know what I mean? Like you got to put a little doubt in our minds that it's not just the card that's in front of us. That's not the only thing. At least, unless you think, you know, I assume your assessment of the evidence matches ours, which is that it's not yeah, the strongest. I, so, <laughs> do you, is yeah. it, are you more saying like a, a framing argument about how to, like, the judge should? Yeah, how the judge should judge yes. the debate. Yes. Like in the middle of the yep. debate, yeah, they yeah, said, yeah. you know, you we made strategic through. decisions yeah. based on blah 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. We are not going yes. for the link turn debate because, because they've dropped you know, Mueller. Yeah. Yes, we're yeah. making our strategic decision now, and it's not just the evidence. We had a thorough argument in the two AC. You see what I mean? And it's like that's also important to answer, et cetera. So um, yeah, I just thought about that. I thought on the the case, a couple small things kind of slipped through the cracks too um, in the two AR. So be a little more careful, which was part of the reason I thought you know like well maybe maybe I could let's let's say I do judge the debate in that way anyway, right? I decide that like I'm just going to impose kind of a very strict technical flowing um, paradigm on this. So then, then I was like, well, if I did that, then I had, I, very, I carefully scrutinized the two AR flow on the case. And there was like the Fed would just, you know, adjust their rates, which would take out the internal link for hyperinflation. You see what I mean? Then it's like, well, so that zeroes out that advantage. Um, you know, and then on the other advantage, there's just like a, the deterrence is strong and naval deterrence won't get down. I'm like, well, that zeroes out that. And it's like, those are, you know, seven second arguments in the two NR. And I, you know, I would not want to vote negative on presumption, but if I was going to do that on the DA with Mueller, then I would feel comfortable doing that on the advantage as well. So, you know, something like that. But yeah, it's a thoroughly enjoyable debate and you've had an amazing tournament. So congratulations, <laughs> seriously. Um, the, yeah, yeah. Um, the last thing I want to say is actually for Seth Gannon, I would have voted on the Samoa case. No, yes. come on. Yes. Yeah. No, no, yes, no, 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 no shame. No shame. No, no shame. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to give it to an R again. Could I have gone for the counterpoint and then been like, if you're rough going, you don't like it, here is the deal. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I thought you could have won the counterpoint yeah. in like, like 30, 30 seconds. I thought about yeah. doing that, but then I was like, yes. I feel like. 30 seconds. Good, well, Don't and I just, like, focus on that. I just, you, you're talking, you about, you're talking about the Samoa count. If I lose, <laughs> just come if in. I don't get to the debate, yeah. the I the Samoa count, like, Oh, no, no. 30 <laughs> seconds on it, though. Yeah, you're peeling off. That's why there's 4-1. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The two no, are, good. The two I would vote that. But everyone knows. I thought you were probably I'm not saying the whole 2 and R. Yeah, not the whole 2 and R. Never the whole 2 and R for those watching at home. Like 50 seconds, right? All right, well, D5 is going to be fun next year. Um, Y'all crushed it. That was awesome. Um, it's been really fun seeing you all year, and I'm excited for next year, too. Um, I, I don't really have a ton to add. Um, I think it was just like a touch, touch, tiny bit more AF on the Mueller thing, just because like I didn't really think the 2 and R had a healthcare key art or like healthcare swing. So like to me, it was less of thumper and was more just like people are tribal. It's locked in. However it's going to be is however it's going to be. I agree with everyone else on why sort of I still ended up negative on those things. The only other thing I'd add to that even was just like I thought like huge impact to the dissad because of the independent CPP thing. That was like even if international co-op solves warming, even if warming impact defense, CPP solves just like domestic biodiversity stuff, extinction. Um, I thought the biggest thing I would have changed about the two AR, I think in tandem with some of like what Will was saying, um, both Wills, um, was just narrowing advantage a little bit more. I, I thought the counter plan solved like basically all of the military stuff. And I thought what you needed to do is go all in on econ, match some of like the A plus turns the case that the neg had, and then like sort of reemphasize and bring back um, some of the time frame business of like, like how do we solve warming if the economy 
has imploded. Because I do think your internal link evidence is great, and it's tough for them to go for some of the like thumpery arguments, because if they win the weight of the economy screwed because of trade or interest rates or whatever else, then theoretically, entirety of solving climate change is, is similarly screwed. Maybe there's like a short-term war thing that would outweigh. And I, I think too that, yeah. Yeah, agreed, strongly. The advantage clearly solves it. <laughs> um, and, and then the other thing too is like, like I, I think if you don't have that advantage, you have way more time for this like framework. That's more like, it. Was, it was, was more like ordering whichever okay. one you okay. think. Yeah. yeah. I was worried that if yeah. I didn't get answer the counter plan, the way that they would be able to win the business part, but then the counter plan solved the advantage, they're going to have to answer all the questions. That's not absurd. That's pretty. That might be at a deeper level of interaction for solvency than the NAG ever claimed. Like the NAG was pretty heavily advertising, only solving the second advantage, but you I, know, you're thinking ahead there. I like that. I also thought the 2AC and 1AR implicitly had arguments why economic strength as a signal is more important than hard power, which if that happens and you sort of choose to kick those things, I think you can just be like, they have never made an argument that hard power outweighs economics. It's about perception from Russia and China. They'll counterbalance no matter how strong our military is. I agree with most of what's said so far. Um, I feel like a lot of the app problems, though, kind of started earlier in the debate than the 2AC, just dealing with kind of such a large 1NC compounded by a very aggressive block across multiple ports. Are you saying we're slow? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm something of an expert on that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Sorry, what one way for. Here's what I. Wait, what did you say? You said Here's what I think you need to do when you are slower than a team that is kind of being very aggressive in the right floats. You need to aggressively look for ways that the floats interact with each other and how that hurts the negative. There are two implications that I kind of thought you could have capitalized on to a pretty devastating effect. One, the one in R indicates that people perceive like their prices um, of insurance and well-being for the election. But the 2NC says Trump is just flat um, tariffs on China that will cause a global economic depression and That's spike right. the prices That's of right. every single good, which zaps the midterms to to zero. Uh, number two, and this is a little bit less true, but kind of trolly, is they, their current says cultural diversity solves environmental problems and is a prerequisite to that, mm -hmm. but cultural diversity declines inevitably because of Trump, the Trump so which bad. means no more insolvency. Um, so just think about things like that, especially when you kind of need to pull that kind of thing. The final thought is just like, to wait on the disab as well, just, I was looking at my flow analyzer, and I'm like, how many of these arguments were in the 1AR? Um, it's actually all of the 1AR arguments. Um, there's just not enough 2AR juicing. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of telling me what the arguments are, and you are doing some resolution of arguments, but to kind of like walk it in, you need to do much more judge instruction about how we should do our jobs and evaluate and just pick a select few. You got to win to them. Just you all, you all think they yeah. Yeah, I, or LinkedIn could there have been something Linter, to do with I just, I thought LinkedIn was really underdeveloped in the 1AR. Yeah, that would be the problem. Yeah. Like, I no, was the neg is doing so that. much, and the extreme example of what Michael's saying as the debate kind of ends is, if you are better on LinkedIn versus Link, no matter what else happens in this debate, you win. That's it. It's the ultimate act of consolidation, you know? Be, I mean, everything unravels for them. And when you think about where the NAG was really communicating really, really well and really slamming, it was on a lot of sections of the debate, but it wasn't necessarily that. And I think that um, a little bit of it could have started earlier. I do kind of agree with Adrian that like maybe you didn't get the full everything of your evidence out on that question. But that's just one of those annoying things when you're negative. It's like, I've got all these counterpoints going on, I've got all this case stuff going on, but if I don't control the link to my signature offensive argument, it's zap go. Yeah, I thought the one AR could be that, that better. And it's like, uh, the nice thing with that too is like all the turns case stuff's irrelevant then <laughs> yeah. too yeah. because like it's Dems win inevitable. Yeah, like, just win. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no impact. There's no try or die. There's no turns case. Yeah. yeah. Then you just advance to like the Dems will solve the app by doing something. You know. Yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah. Quo presumption valid, but it's, it's usually up there. <laughs> really phenomenal run though.